Hi everyone, welcome to today's learning from home tip of the day. We are up to number 35 and um, today we're looking at how you can start to support your child to get ready for that return to school. So every family has a different story from what's been happening during learning from home. And there's a whole lot of ways that you can start to support your child uh, to reconnect with school and with their friends and with their teachers. And these tips are also available in 35 different languages. So you can um, grab those from the link here. So the first thing is to be positive about your child's return to school. And that might be hard if you've got your own reservations or fears, um, but it's important that we're not um, passing those fears on to our children. So some of the things you can ask your child, how are you feeling about coming back to school? Listen to their concerns without interrupting. Let them get it all out. And then respond in a calm, supportive and reassuring way. So reassure them that what they're feeling is normal and that everyone at school and you are all there to support them and to make sure that they're safe. You can ask them, what do you like about school and what are you looking forward to when you return? What have you missed about being at school? You might get them to list things or draw them um, and that really helps to rephrase it into the positive. So what are the things that they've missed? It might be their friends, it might be playing, it might be their teacher, it might be doing art or sport or music and just reminding them of all those positive things that they'll get to experience when they come back to school. If your child's feeling nervous or worried, like I said, just reassure them that that's normal and that we're all here to support them. If they have questions about COVID, um, provide factual information that's age appropriate. And again, let them know that everyone at school is working hard to make sure that everyone is safe. What else um, might you do? Um, I think it's really important to limit the media content your child is viewing because there's lots of things out there that are not age appropriate for our children and it can really cause them to worry and actually cause distress. So try and limit that media content. Again, remind your child that everyone at school is working hard to make sure that everyone's safe and that anyone who's not well will be staying at home. And remind them that we're looking forward to seeing them. And that's really important too, that you know, there's their teachers and their friends that really wanna see them back at school. So preparing yourself and your child for the changes and the new school procedures will be really important. So keep an eye on our Facebook and Instagram pages, um, Class Dojo and our school bag newsletters to learn about the new procedures that will be introduced and that will be coming out um, this week. Um, so some of the changes might be um, changes to your access to the school, the drop off and pick up points and drop off and pick up times. Um, as well as new rules around wearing face masks and hygiene. Discuss these with your child and plan together how you're gonna manage those so that they feel included in those decisions and they feel a real sense of confidence about knowing what's gonna happen. The more your child understands, the more comfortable they're going to feel. And if, they're, if you're unsure about anything, contact us so we can clarify and help you with it. Re-establishing your routines will be really important in the, this week and next week because routines help provide certainty and increase feelings of security. Um, it's really important to re-establish these and plan for that return. So bring back the usual wake up time, the bed and breakfast routines, set aside time to find all your school equipment, check your uniforms fit and give yourself enough time to get replacement uniforms if you need them. Make sure your child checks their school timetable, packs their bag, gets their lunchbox and drink bottle and uniform ready. Um, allow more time than usual on that first day to get ready um, because we're not used to getting ready and leaving the house on a, time to, on, on a timeline. So it does take a bit of practice 
and it will take longer than usual. So be prepared for that. Um, you may want to bring your child to school on that first day to make them feel more comfortable, or they may be more comfortable, especially the older students, meeting a friend and coming to school together. But talk about that in advance and be ready for it. Update us on anything that's happening or any concerns that you have. Get in contact early so we can work with you to put strategies and supports in place. And if you need help and support, again, contact us. But also there is the Department of, Web of Education has um, a website for mental health and wellbeing pages that has heaps of support for you and your child. This week, the department actually have some um, webinars that are happening and I would really encourage you to um, participate in these. So this, tonight, um, the eSafety Commissioner has a session on, um, which is a parent guide to online gaming. Tomorrow night, Smiling Minds um, are doing a session on building resilience and wellbeing. On Wednesday, there is a session for um, parents of older students. So maybe some of our year five and six parents, but if you've got older children as well, around supporting teen mental health. And on Thursday, again, for parents of older children, navigating teen mental health. So getting more of an understanding about what's happening there. Really encourage you to participate in these, they're really great. So any comments or questions, please share them in the chat. Um, really looking forward to hearing from you and really looking forward to seeing some of you back next week and the rest of you back the week after.